Right. Let's get cheeky. We approach the door. Do I get in, fellow Oddites? Do I get inside this castle and film? Nobody has done it before. So I had knocked on that front door, and there was no answer. So I thought I'd take a, a mosey around the side here. Saw another door, and thought I'll knock there too. Which I did. No answer. I was greeted by silence. And at this point I thought, it looks like I'm out of luck. So I started heading back out again, thinking, well, it wasn't such a wasted journey. I got to film the beautiful architecture, of this wonderful castle, and it is, and what a glorious day as well. Just wish, just wish I had got in. As I was leaving, I just had a look in the old greenhouse to see how the tomatoes were going this year. Anyway, as I was walking down, I noticed that the side gate was open, which wasn't open before. Most curious, so I started going up, turned around the corner here, and got the shock of my life. Somebody was just coming out the door. So I quickly put the camera down out of respect. No one likes a camera in their face. You can see my boot. I've nearly got my foot in the door. Not quite yet. Well, Turns out this is the keeper of the castle, this 85-year-old man who is amazingly fit and uh, very kind. You know, I just introduced myself and sent some beautiful energy, and lo and behold, he invited us in to the castle to have a look round, and I asked him could I film, and he, he had no objection. So I was really quite amazed. Uh, this is not normally their policy, I don't know whether he thought I was a member from overseas or not, but uh, I, I took up his uh, offer very, very gratefully. Um, he, he was a man of quite few words, and he was quite quick. Uh, so I'm actually going to slow the camera work down a bit because he was moving so fast, and uh, yeah, we had to keep up with him. He was ready to move on to the next uh, room every time. And uh, and suddenly through the tour, he seemed to have had enough and he showed us the door and quickly went back to his work, uh, as you'll see towards the end. But as I say, I've got some footage that has never been filmed before. It is quite amazing. Uh, anyway, I will talk you through, not too much, but I'll just show you a few points and you can look for yourself. So, here we are following this sprightly old man into the inner sanctum. He's ascertained that my shoes are not dirty. I may leave them on. First of all, he leads us into the kitchen area and dining room, uh, which is one of the one of the parts of the castle that has been modernised. They've obviously got uh, modern fridges and uh, units here. I suppose they have to keep up to date to feed the members, cook for them. Um, nice large kitchen. And as we come through here. Yes, as we come through here, 
to the right there are, there is like a dining room which to me looks very much like a, a Swiss pub restaurant um, but they said it was the dining room for the members I didn't see any members uh, a lady at this point popped her head round I've I've sort of uh, haven't included her out of respect um, she appeared and she appeared to be talking to someone behind the door I think but she was very very friendly um, yeah I just I was overwhelmed by their warmth and friendliness and uh, we continue our journey now up to the tower the old man wanted to show us the tower now bearing in mind he's 85 uh, maybe the reason why he's so fit is because this this uh, group do not partake of alcohol they do not eat meat, they love animals, they respect animals as living beings who have feelings and emotions, and uh, they don't even drink coffee, amongst other things, so, oh my god, I need my coffee and beer, I couldn't live here, well I could live here, but I couldn't uh, follow their, uh, their doctrine, anyway, look at this, we're out on the, at the top of the tower now, looking out, wow, yeah, he's telling me that the roof next year will be entirely replaced. Uh, it's the same roof for over a hundred years, and this old guy has been doing running repairs on it. Incredible, at that age. Oh, just mind-blowing. I mean, he's been up on that roof. Look how, look how far down the drop is. Wow. Incredible, incredible guy. Yeah, this tower is obviously original. There's been no, no renovation up here. Anyway, let's continue. So, off we went again, trying to keep up with this, with this old guy. He's moving quick. Uh, by the way, after I left this place, just I felt like a charged battery for the whole day. Like, it was really on a, on a just amazing energy rush. Uh, even had trouble sleeping that night, so... Some amazing energy in this place. Maybe that's what keeping this old man going. So at this point I get a bit worried. He's going to show me into the dungeon. We're going to end up hanging on meat hooks. Oh, oh, oh you first. You first, mate. But he just wanted to show me what's happened here. This is because of the roof letting in water. So all that has to be repaired. Yeah. I wonder if he's going to do the repairs himself. Amazing. A view of the vineyards. So, we continue the tour. Now there's a, um, a lot of this stuff has been left over from the early days. There's a few modern additions, but not many. The wallpaper is original. As you'll see later on, the wallpaper is hand painted. I've had to slow the, the film down, it's, uh, he's moving so quick, the old guy. He was talking to me there, that's why the camera paused. Yeah, he's showing me these rooms, this is where the members sleep. Look at the old sink there. The beds look like they're out of the 50s. Yeah, the wash basin and jug. And it's part of the old wood heating system, this little door which I'm just about to pan down on. And now he's uh, about to take us down the staircase to another level. thinking hurry up <laughs> it's 
so I'm looking right there and he must have read my mind because he went back this way. Yeah, he's going to show me another one of the rooms here. I mean, wouldn't this be a great hotel, this place? Fantastic. Unfortunately, didn't get to see the bathroom. Afterwards, when we left, I thought, oh my God, I should have asked him, can we see the bathroom? I wonder if that's the original bathroom or whether it's been modernized. I'd love to, I'd love to have seen that. Unfortunately, he didn't show us and I forgot to ask. So we continue now, looks like the living room and there's an exercise bike. Is, is the old man also using that as well as doing the repairs and all the work in this castle? Incredible. So this looks like the, uh, the study or, or the office. Um, God, I'd love this as my office to make videos. Fantastic. Wow, really nice. There's a lot of original stuff here. This portrait is of the founder of the group. Looking very stern, he's saying, Oddi, thou shalt not drink beer or coffee or fornicate on days with A's in them. I quickly move away. of past members, perhaps. Right, this is the, um, I sort of think, coerced him to open up the doors here of the of the main balcony overlooking the, 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 the grounds with the um, statue grouping down there. He's explained to me that that is Helvetia, the patron saint of Switzerland, and beside her, are the hand workers who represent industry. This was sculpted by one of the deceased members years ago um, and he said that the fountain is no longer working. It's in need of repair. So we're back in now and uh, he showed me a room here and he said that uh, someone was staying here last night, one of the members, and the bed has not yet been made. This place had so many rooms, we didn't even get to see them all. It's just incredible. A lot of space, a lot of rooms. At this point, I tried to engage him in talk about uh, antiques, and uh, he wasn't interested, didn't know much about them. He just said they were falling apart. See now the, the little cabinet here, it's, the woodwork is peeling off, peeling away. As you can see the panel here, the silk has just rotted away from that. I love, I love the old decay, don't restore it. This is down another staircase, very grand, very grand, this statue is of the founder, yes. Yes, I wonder if he ever thought an Oddie would be waltzing through his castle one day. This is another living room or what would you call it reception room perhaps it seems to be the main room of the house there's a fluorescent lighting up there that I don't like that now he's just turned the light on here um, and that's undoubtedly the original chandelier isn't that wonderful Here it says, our father's house is always open, which is actually not the case unless you're a member or an oddie. 
that's obviously been painted by the by the members. Seem quite pleased that I correctly identified this room as the salon. I love this room. It's really just quite pretty. Not large, but very refined. Very French in style. Look at the gorgeous ceiling. Don't know about the vases here on the left, if anybody is an expert on Chinese vases, let me know. Look at that lovely Art Nouveau bronze vase, isn't that fantastic? He's just showing me here the, uh, this is for the warm air to come through into the room. Sort of alcove there. I love those old radiators. Yes, if you remember in the first part, this was the main door that I, I peered through. And now I got inside. By the way, this place was incredibly warm. So they, they, they've got the heating on full. Um, I was quite surprised, I thought it'd be chilly inside a castle, but uh, obviously elderly and they like their warmth, so that must cost a bit. He, now he's taking us into a meeting room um, where they have uh, had a sort of a Christmas speech, I think he explained, so they obviously follow the teachings of Christ and the Bible. ceiling with hand-painted motifs and that wonderful again the wonderful hand-painted wallpaper now at this point he had enough uh, and unbeknownst to me he was leading us out through this uh, panel in the wall which is actually a door was au revoir. Audi has been shown the door. But not before he returned with some pamphlets uh, explaining what they're all about. And uh, yeah, I just want to say that if anyone recognizes this castle or knows about the group, please do not leave it in the comment section. I will delete it. Uh, this is a private castle, private home, and I would like their privacy respected. Uh, I know most of you guys will understand that. I don't want people harassing them. Um, yeah, as I say, they love animals. They don't eat meat. Uh, I, I've read about their philosophy, and I really quite like it, actually. If that's, really, if that's really what they're about, what I have read in the pamphlet, then, um, yeah, I think... <laughs> They are really uh, on the ball about what's happening in the world today. That's that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, yeah. And look at this guy. I mean, he's he's racing down there to his allotment, to his garden. Incredible, the energy he has got. I was really, really quite in awe of him uh, at that age, to have so much energy. And after feeling the energy in the castle, I can understand it. Anyway, my friends, I hope you enjoyed I hope you enjoyed that, because I did. Not only am I very grateful to the generous folks at this castle for allowing uh, us to have this tour, but also to our dog, Fiffa. Here she is, 
modelling her new Sherlock Holmes jacket, uh, in which she does her brilliant detective work in finding these places, and for that she was rewarded with several doggy treats. Anyway, my friends, I'm out of here. So if I don't uh, upload before the end of this year, I will see you in 2018. And uh, hopefully we have a lot more interesting videos to come in that year. And I'd just like to wish you a very, very safe end to this year. Take care. Thank you for watching, my friends. Bye-bye.